So we're back with another episode of Coffee with April. This time we're gonna dive back into espresso and we're gonna show you guys how we currently brew espresso more or less. Espresso as a beverage has changed a lot ever since it first started. I mean, it's been generations of um, baristas in the world brewing espressos and as quite often when we talk about competitions, we see a lot of the progress happening in the actual competitions when it comes to brewing espresso and we've seen a lot of innovation there and we want to see more of that kind of go into the coffee shop so we want to work more with that as a roastery as well now for those of you that watched our videos for a long time you guys know that we always believe that quality or in terms of how you're supposed to brew a certain coffee is very much related to how that coffee is roasted so what we're going to try to do now is to show you just our standard brewing approach for the espressos that are roasted by us here at April. Um, as you also know, we're making a difference in terms of filter roast and espresso roast. We also do milk espresso, which is basically espresso intended to taste more flavor intense together with milk. Um, so what we're focusing here is how do we brew our espresso range? That being said, you can actually pull some pretty sweet shots of our filter range using this kind of method as well. Uh, now, traditionally what we do uh, brewing espresso and, and something we always have been focusing on is uh, first of all basket size, right? So how big is the basket that we're working with? Historically, what we always been doing is that we've been underdosing the basket size. So this for example is a, a 18 gram size. Um, so what we've been doing, oh sorry, it's a 17. What we've been doing then is that we've basically been underdosing it down to 15, 16. The argument there have always been to give the water more room in the filter, which allows for more uniform extraction of the coffee, which is all fine and good. But in the end of the day, to some extent, you need to figure out what is the best tasting version of what you've done. So what we're doing these days is a bit differently. We're actually updosing the filter. So what we're going to show you guys is what happens when you're actually pulling a shot with more coffee in the basket than the basket technically allows. So working with this side of basket here, we're actually gonna up dose to 23 grams of coffee, which is quite considerably more coffee than what the filter technically allows you to have, which is gonna make it a bit tricky for you to dose, but we're gonna end up having a really, really good taste. Now, regardless of the dose, we're gonna get back to that later on, the most important thing here is the ratio. And we find quite often on coffee shops around the world still that we're kind of stuck in this one to two ratio. Um, basically taking your dry dose, multiply that with two and you have the volume that comes out. So that has pretty much stayed the same for a very long time now. Uh, what have changed significantly is the average brewing time. So historically, most people push espresso around 30 seconds. Now we're close to down to 20, 25. Um, some people, of course, still being above 30 seconds. What we like to do here is to push relatively fast shots. Um, but most importantly, what we do is that we stretch out the volumes always. So we're actually pushing a two to five brewing ratio, which is much longer than traditionally. What we find is it opens up the flavor notes. It still keeps the body and the strength intact. We're looking at a TDS around eight here. Um, and it really makes it a lot more sweeter. So we're gonna show you guys how we do it. So as you can see here, we're basically working with a, a Lamsoco two group strata. Uh, we're gonna push it at a standard nine bar pressure. Um, so we're not gonna do anything fancy with it. You could do a pressure profile if you want to. Uh, personally, I never experienced an espresso that tastes better because it's been pressure profiled. I know the trend these days are, are a bit differently, um, but what I could tell you is that I have experienced espressos that taste better uh, because they are on a lower average pressure. So for example, taking the pressure down to eight bar or seven bars. What we do here at April is that we keep it at nine bar because that's the official competition um, structure and we like to do things similar to how we would do it when we compete as well. 
So with working with a higher amount of coffee in the filter, it actually doesn't allow you to work with a distribution tool. So at this point, we're actually doing it without a distribution tool. So what we're gonna see here on the flow rate, flow rate of the espresso that is also gonna be a tiny bit different from what we're used to. So what we're looking for here is that the first liquid basically comes out around four to five seconds. And then we're gonna have a pretty fast continuous pour all the way up to our final volume, which we gonna basically stop at 55 which gives us 57 to 58 grams of liquid, now up to 59, in roughly 18 seconds. Which is gonna give us this really kind of clean, very well-balanced espresso. Now, a last thing to think about, which is something that we often forget when it comes to espresso, is, is temperature. Um, and I know there's been a lot of talk about this. It's been talked about whether you wanna swirl your espressos, or if you wanna mix them with a spoon, or whatever you wanna do, right? I think what's the easiest way to enjoy the best espresso is always just to pour it over into something else. What happens is that you're basically lowering the temperature, uh, plus you're blending the espresso, making it a lot more uniform in taste, and overall increasing the flavor experience in general. So that was just basically a few tips and tricks on, on how we brew espresso currently here at April. Again, to kind of give you the short bullet points is that the focus is lower brew, longer brewing ratios. We're talking two to five ratio here, uh, or one to 2.5, which is basically stretching the espresso out a lot longer. I think this works really well, even if you work with a more standard dose, which is the same as basket size, so slightly below basket size. But in general, you wanna push out as much like liquid as you can. Uh, second thing would be faster extractions. So looking at extractions between 20 to 25. In reality, if you work with a lighter roasted coffee, that's gonna be relatively easy to extract. So you're gonna, you won't have any issues actually getting the proper strength or proper TDS, even if you are extracting fast. Uh, plus you're gonna keep the taste experience very, very clean. So this was the first of a few espresso videos we're gonna do now in the future. And if you guys have any specific content you want in them, any comments on this, as always, just comment down here. And we're really happy that you guys are watching. Thank you.